Hey y'all, today is Wednesday, November 29th, and as you can see, I have a Timu package. But before I get into that, I want to show you a couple of things that I picked up at Mighty Dollar. It's just a few things, and then I'll get straight into the Timu haul. First up, I got this package of laser cutout wood shapes. And there's 15 in here, so that would be five of those, and five of those, and five of the joy. And these are about maybe an inch and a half, maybe an inch and a quarter. They're not that very big, and I was looking for some smaller ones. These are a little bit bigger than I'd like for them to be, but that's all I could find and I don't necessarily have any plans for these, but I may end up using them, I'm not sure. My husband had treatment yesterday for his immunotherapy, and when we left there, I asked him if we could stop by Mighty Dollar, and I wanted to go see what they might have now for Christmas, and I had saw these types of things at Dollar Tree, and for some oddball reason, I didn't get any, well, I was trying not to spend a whole lot the last time I went to Dollar Tree. And I didn't pick them up. I picked up the other stuff that I had in the last haul. And I went ahead and picked up these today because I do have a project in mind to utilize these with. And there are six pieces. And of course, they're also $1.25. Also, at Dollar Tree, I had seen the trees, and they are shaped different at Dollar Tree, and I'm not too sure how I feel about this shape. It's kind of cute, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I like this one, but I kind of did like the one from Dollar Tree, I think. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen it, but... I went ahead and picked up a pack of the little trees and of course there are also six in this one and it comes with the jute but I don't plan on using that I don't like that stuff the last thing that I got was ribbon it's nine feet and it is sparkly silver um, don't think that I had any I've got different colors of ribbon but I'm almost positive didn't have this one I do have a red one kind of like this but there is something that I've got in mind to do and I needed a silver so I went ahead and luckily found this one they didn't have many at Mighty Dollar so I went ahead and picked it up while I was there because I do not know when I will be able to go anywhere else to pick up some okay the first thing I want to show you is something that should have been in my Halloween haul from Timu but somehow it got put with something else and misplaced so I have it out now and I'm gonna show you what it is it is the skeleton cats so I had seen it before and I wanted to get it and I went ahead to ordered it when I ordered all the other Halloween stuff it is actually an ice tray however i saw someone do something with they made their own and then they made their own mold and i thought that was cool and there's so many things that you could actually do with the little squares and i seen this mold on timu so i got it and i have no idea how much it is because last time i did my haul i actually had my laptop out and was looking at the prices and I don't have that this time but I will put the stuff in the description if it's available because you know sometimes stuff sells out or it ends up being discontinued and then it's not available to be able to tell you but this is actually an ice tray and of course their descriptions aren't ever really a whole lot helpful it just says red I am trying to get all the non Christmassy items out first. This is a black silicone mat, 
and I am pretty sure that it is bigger than the other one that I got. It says that it is 400 millimeter by 300 millimeter, and I don't remember what that broke down to in inches. Another non-Christmas item is this this nine section kind of puffy heart. Uh, I've been wanting a puffy heart. I have seen them previously and seen people doing stuff with them. And I thought, I really want that mold. So I finally got one. I'm going to open it and see what it looks like. Oh, um, this one definitely was not in the typical crinkly, crinkly stuff. Um, I was looking for defects. There are some weird looking places can you see that on that middle heart there on that one when the light hits it how it's kind of ripply but i don't think that's going to be a big deal did not like the fact that it was um, folded over in that bag but it doesn't seem to have hurt it it is still laying flat so that's really good and i also got one of the large um, tabletops and I don't remember how big this is supposed to be because it definitely doesn't say it on the back <laughs> it just says one I will have the link for this in the description I think that this is supposed to be 10 inches it may be 12 but I think it's 10 and then another non Christmassy thing is this flat mold okay y'all I did not get this mold to be a mold I got it to actually work on that way if I spill resin then it will be able to be peeled up or easier however I want to show y'all how thin this mold is can you see the lip on that? I mean, that is so, so, so thin. I'm not sure how thin that is, but I don't even know what this actual mold was supposed to be for. But if you poured that, whatever you pour is going to be bendy because it's so thin and look oh well anyway I had to catch it but anyway like I said I got it specifically to work off of and I see that there are imperfections right there anyway you see the ridges yep you can see them so yeah like I said I just got this to work off of and I want to say this is like 14 inches I think it might be 15 inches I think it's 15 inches but anyway it's super thin and I'm glad that I only got it specifically to work off of I got the round one to work off of as well not necessarily to pour it I don't know I may pour it sometime, but I basically just got it to work off of. And I wanted the little round spheres. This is the three piece set. Yep. Three piece spherical silicone something. That's all it said. But anyway, this is a pretty decent size. And there they are. I think this one's supposed to be three inches and this one's like 2.5 maybe. And then this one is 1.5. Yeah, I think that's right. But anyway, I have this weird obsession with spheres and circles and things like that i have always been intrigued by them i guess it's because of bubbles i don't know but anyway <laughs> there's my little three set i have the other set with the animals on it 
and I wanted this one because it has the penguin and lizard and the frog. Of course the frog. I wanted the frog. And then it has a couple birds, a squirrel, and this little doggy. The little doggy is cute. I really wanted it because of the doggy too. And then there's a snail. But isn't the doggy cute? I like that. And I like the penguin. I like the lizard. I like the froggy. This is a brown tray silicone mold and it says short on the back. And it is, I want to say it's six inches. Oh, that glare is horrible, isn't it? I think it could be used for a large coaster if you really wanted to. This four pack of one, two, three, five. I think it's four, one, two, three, there might be five. Anyway, I picked up this pack of these things because I thought that I could use these to actually make keychains with. So, and of course, it has nothing on the back that is helpful. Okay, this is the one that has the crab. So, yes, these are beachy themed. And that's the crab. And then that's the starfish. I kind of like that these are bumped out from the main circle. And there is the seahorse. And, of course, you know, I really like the turtle. Yes, I do. These could also be mirror hangs for your vehicle. And that is a shark. Yes, indeedy, it most certainly is. I'm not too sure who would want a shark. I don't know. Maybe there are people that actually like sharks. I do not know. And then this is the octopi. The octopus. And then of course we have a dolphin. Not a very detailed dolphin. And he has scratches right there. Yep, see him. But I think that's okay because if you use glitter, that shouldn't necessarily be picked up. I wouldn't think. I don't know. I would have to pour it to see for sure. So how many was that? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a set of six, y'all. Six. Um, I'm not quite sure how much I paid for these. I will definitely have it in the description. When I get to it. Okay, so I thought that I had ordered a whole lot more Christmas stuff than what I have. But... Anyway, now we're going to get into the Christmassy stuff. And I picked up a pack of this. It was supposed to be 39 inches, and I'm pretty sure this is nowhere near 39 inches. I'm almost positive that was the pack that I picked up. And I got a little set of these a long time ago and when I say a long time ago I mean a long time ago from 
Well, I guess that would probably be about 36 inches. So it might be 39 inches. But anyway, I picked up a set of this from Hobby Lobby a long, long time ago. And I liked it so much, I didn't want to use it. So I haven't used it for anything because I wanted to keep it. Because I had never seen any more. Oh, no. Look. But anyway, I had... Oh, there it is. I had not um, seen it since then. So I wasn't able to get any more. And I was so happy to find it on Timu. I would like to order some more of this. I like it. I mean, it's cute. There's lots of things you could do with it, actually. But anyway, I got a little pack of that. Christmas lights. And of course, they're just for decoration. They're really cute. If you had enough, you could actually do garland. And then I absolutely had to have some Christmas confetti. And this has snowmen in it. And Santa Claus. Can you see Santa Claus? Let me see if I... Okay, I'm going to try to get this out, y'all. Okay. It has a plain green Christmas tree. And then it has the snowman. Oops, get off me. And it has a green Merry Christmas. And a red Merry Christmas. And these are pretty big for confetti. And then it has a red Christmas tree. I did not see a plain red Christmas tree like the green one. And these have decorations on them. And then there is, of course, the green one like that as well. And then we have a red Santa. Oh. Well. He's gone. Yeah, I have no idea where the Santa Claus went. Let's see if I can get out another one. Let's show you what the Santa looks like. Let's see if I can hold on to him this time. Oh. This is more complicated than it should be. Okay. There's the Santa. And then it has pretty silver snowflakes. I would say that's about a half an inch. These are pretty big. Yeah. I'd say that's about half an inch. And then it has... <laughs> it's supposed to be a reindeer, but you know what? That kind of looks more like a gazelle. Most definitely looks like a gazelle. But either way, that's that. Oh, and I just found another non-Christmassy mold. It is this one. And I got it, like, in the last haul, I had pink ones. I got this one because it's clear, and if I decide to use it with UV resin, it will be easier to actually cure it. And it is 8.2 centimeters or 3.23 inches. Um. I wanted to be able to make Christmas ornaments, so I got two packs of these plain ornament molds, so I would have the option of making my own, and this one says two-piece Christmas mold A, and I got these from the same seller. And I do not remember how much these were, but like I said, I will have the links in the description if it's still available, y'all. And I forgot about ordering these. I should have shown them in the beginning before all of the Christmas stuff, but I'm going to show them to you now. 
these are the little bitty teeny tiny fish. Now, I saw these years ago through Sophie and Toffee. I don't know if theirs were these small. I think they were, but I wanted them then. But through Sophie and Toffee, they were expensive. I think these things were like, I'm gonna say $10 a piece. And they are tiny, teeny tiny little moles. And I just cannot see or justify that price. I found them on Timu and I'd been looking at them. So I went ahead and got them. And I got two of them. Because yes, I like fish. We used to raise koi. And at one point in time, we had over 2,000. Alright. And the next one is this ornament with the snowflake. I just liked it more than I liked some of the other ones that they had. So... I will be making this one and of course there's nothing on the back other than circular snowflake mold you see that circular snowflake mold and you can see I mean you can see it from this side so I don't see the point in taking it out of the package and then they have others that are in this type of mold but I liked this design more than the other ones and it's got the little swirlies and you can see that too so I'm not taking these out and I got two I got two of them and it just says 8952-2 but you can't really look up stuff by the number on Timu uh, apparently I liked that one so much I got two <laughs> so I got two of the snowflake molds I found this one. It has gnome holding the gingerbread man and trees, more trees, the actual gingerbread man, and gnome that says Merry Xmas. I do not like the fact that they X'd out Christ. I don't like that. And I probably we'll figure out how to make sure I can take that out and then it says there's one that's in the shape of an ornament it says peace love joy and then there's another gnome or I guess actually these would be gonks because you can't see their face and then the manger scene another gonk and then that one's got oh this one has a present these have candy canes. This one has a wreath. And then, of course, we have stars. And I will have this linked in the description if it's still available because I do not remember what this was called. And I got a Christmas tree. It has the pattern in it. Can you see the pattern? It's not showing up on camera that well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take it out, y'all. Okay, check it out. Isn't that pretty? I like that. And the number on this one is 9049-7. I really like that Christmas tree. And to go along with this Christmas tree is a set of earrings. And I will go ahead and take those out. Hang on. And here they are. I really like that design. I think that is so pretty. And even though it's not an exact match, I do think that it goes pretty well together. I think that would make a nice pendant and earring set. I really do. And then the number on this one is 9048 dash seven so 9049 dash seven you would think that they actually are supposed to be a set but they're not i saw these on timu and i thought they were adorable it is the elf hat with the elf feet 
and I got two of these because, you know, why not? I mean, if you're going to make a set of earrings, you might want to, you might want to make a set that's alike and you might just want to make something different but you know if you have a mom and daughter that wants a set that's the same I thought these were so cute I like them so very much I think these were 89 cents and then I picked this up and yes I'm gonna take it out because you can't see anything about it and then I got this thing, and I am going to take it out of the package because you can't see it. This is what he looks like. Out of all of the ones that I saw, this one was my favorite. I did want to go ahead and get some of the other ones, but I was on a budget. And you can only get so many things when you are on a budget. So this was my favorite. And he's the one I went ahead and picked out. Isn't he cute? I like him. I saw these on Timu. And I absolutely fell in love with them. And yes, I saw them on Timu before I saw anybody else haul these. And the way they had it fixed, it was just absolutely adorable. And... I said I have got to have that mold. I'm going to take it out so you can see it better. I love it. I wanted to get several of these. But once again, budget. All I could afford was one. And one is better than none. And I do think that I'm going to make me something out of this one. And look at there. There's several scratches. Can you see the scratch there? Nope, it's not showing up. Trust me, there is a scratch right there. But that's okay because you know you can fix this to where this would be the back side, and then you could go ahead and um, dome it too. So that's fine. The scratch would go away in that case anyway. But aren't these adorable? That is my Timu Hall Christmas Heavy. And I'm going to try my best to start working on my 25 days of Christmas. I really do want to get started on that I really want to try my best to do the 25 days I am definitely not making any promises y'all because I am struggling I really am struggling and every time it comes time for my husband to go see his cancer doctor and it's time for his infusion I just get more depressed and uh, I'm, I'm struggling so I'm trying my best to I'm trying my best. Let's just say that. I'm trying my best. That's why I haven't done any videos since the last one. Because I'm struggling. And then when I feel like I can get a video done, then he needs to take a nap. So it's kind of hard to work around. You know, it's, it's just hard. But I'm trying and... If y'all have made it to the end and listened to me ramble, I want to thank you. And thanks for sticking with my channel. And those of you who are subscribed, thank you for subscribing. And if you like my videos, I would appreciate it if you actually would leave comments. Let me know. And, you know, engagement really does help. And right now it helps me. You know, not just my channel. It helps me to know that there are actually people that care enough to stick around to the end. Okay, well, I've got supper cooking. And my hubby's hungry. And I'm finally finished with this video. So I am going to go feed my man. Y'all take care. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.